Good day, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for this 15th day of April. It is Saturday, and we are in the middle of the month, and today's topic is titled Temple Maintenance and Common Sense. So before we get started on that, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And he too can be your Lord and Savior today if he's not already. As the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Amen. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And so Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by him. Praise the Lord. And if there was any other way, then what Jesus went on the cross to do would have been in vain. So we know that, that uh, God's way is the only way through his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, we're going to start with today's scripture song from Isaiah 43:13, And so press play and sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. All right, here we Isaiah go. Isaiah 49, 13. <clears throat> sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. For the Lord hath comforted his people, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. Amen. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. Pray for the word and break forth into singing, O oh, mountains. The Lord hath comforted his people, for the Lord hath comforted his people, and will have mercy upon his afflicted, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. O oh, heavens, and be joyful, O oh, earth. And break forth into singing, O mountains. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth. And break forth into singing, O mountains. The Lord hath comforted his people. The Lord hath comforted his people. And will have mercy upon his afflicted. A mercy upon his afflicted. Sing, sing. Amen. All right. So put that back to yesterday's, and we'll do those again towards the end of the broadcast. Amen. <clears throat> now it's time to get into today's topic for April 15th, 2023, Saturday, Temple Maintenance and Common Sense. And it says here in 1 Corinthians six nineteen, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? 1 Corinthians 6.19, so since we are uh, saved and born again, our temple, uh, our body is not our own, and so uh, the Holy Spirit is dwelling inside of us, and so we should always make sure that we're not quenching the Spirit and grieving the Spirit, amen? So let's go ahead and uh, give you the author of today's um, devotional, it is D.O., and I believe that's the initials for Don Owen, if I remember correctly, so Don Owen, and he's retired from Lighthouse Baptist Church in San Antonio, Texas. So let me read you what he wrote on this topic of temple maintenance and common sense. All right, he writes here, uh, May each of you be experiencing the blessings, encouragement, and refreshing presence of our Lord. Amen. He says, Some time ago, death took one of our faithful members. He says, This man was not only a faithful witness and tracted distributor, but also a powerful influence on teens and adults alike. Amen. So it's good to be a good influence to uh, teens and adults alike and even children because <clears throat> they're always watching us and seeing how we're going to uh, act and how we're going to have our walk with the Lord. So amen. So he was a powerful influence on teens and adults alike. He is greatly missed by our entire church family, he says. Uh, truly, our times are in the Lord's hands, right? Yet we believe God was speaking to the uh, to this brother about heart heart problems and symptoms he was ignoring. Let uh, this be a reminder to all of us. <clears throat> are you experiencing medical symptoms that need professional attention? Uh, so we should always make sure we're uh, uh, getting uh, checked uh, physically. So. Um, he says that chest pain, shortness of breath, lack of energy, or other signs that need investigating. Please swallow your pride for the sake of your family, loved ones, as well as 
your ministries and seek a doctor's opinion, <laughs> right? So, and we can now be stubborn like that where we don't want to go to the doctor because we just think we can get through it. But uh, <clears throat> sometimes it's good to seek medical uh, help and get whatever's going on with you fixed so you can uh, continue to go on, amen, and not just uh, trying to do it yourself. So uh, there's that, and he continues on. Is your will and life insurance up to date? Or are these matters that you keep putting off? Mm. Uh, is it an act of love to attend to these things as, um, as quickly as possible? So he said, it is an act of love to attend to these things as quickly as possible, <clears throat> realizing that this is not a typical devotional. Uh, please do not be offended. He says, just realizing it's not a, um, a typical devotional, he says, don't be offended. It is written out of love and concern for you and your loved ones. Do not be among those who wished they ha would have done everything a long time ago. Sometimes a long time ago becomes too late. Mm. Remember, for ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. 1 Corinthians 6.20 Amen. So, good to... Take care of yourself physically, but also want to make sure that you're uh, having some spiritual health and taking care of yourself spiritually, not just all physical. So you got to have balance there. So, amen. <clears throat> so it's good to make sure you're taking care of our physical health and uh, spiritual health. Amen. So you can be more focused on the um, physical and not too much on the spiritual. And then you let yourself go spiritually and, and stuff and neglect that part of... Um, your health, amen. So make sure we have balance on both. So, all right. So that was that uh, little topic there. And amen. All right. Now it's time to grab the Daily Strength book. And we'll be wrapping up uh, week one of the topic on diligence. And next week we'll be continuing on this topic. But this is the last week of uh, diligence uh, part one. <clears throat> and then next week will be diligence continued. So... This is from the Daily Strength Volume 1 book by Douglas D. Stoffer and Andrew B. Ray. And today is Day 70, Saturday, titled Diligently Seek Him. Hebrews 11.6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. Alright, now we've got introductory thoughts to today's uh, devotional. And it says here, the 11th chapter of Hebrews has been appropriately labeled as the Hall of Faith, or Heroes of the Faith. Uh, it, it speaks of the great feats of faith of some Old Testament Bible characters like Noah, Abraham, Joseph, and Moses. In the midst of this faith chronicle, the Lord reveals a great truth concerning faith itself. Without faith, no one can please God, right? <clears throat> Uh, in addition to this, the Lord indicates that an important aspect of faith is to diligently seek Him. God promises to reward all those who continually and carefully seek for Him. He is not pleased when Christians fail to pray or read His Word regularly, right? So, making sure we're always staying in the Word and reading it uh, regularly and praying regularly as much as possible. Pray without ceasing, as it says in the Bible. Uh, so... He is not pleased when Christians fail to pray or read his word regularly. Instead, he wants men to seek him with diligence. Amen. So now we have devotional thoughts for children. It says one verse of the song Fishers of Men says, Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. By reading God's word and praying on a regular basis, you will grow closer to God and learn that he is your best friend caring for you like no one else. <clears throat> Amen. So that was for children, and we can take and apply that to adults too. And now we got for everyone. Do you believe that God rewards those who diligently seek Him? Yes, I uh, sure do. So He does reward. Amen. It might not be right now, but it might be uh, in the uh, next life. So, But He does uh, reward. How diligent is your prayer life? Ooh, ouch. <laughs> Uh, do you give up praying when you do not receive the answers you desire? Hmm. 
that's that can be a problem because we not get the answers we desire right away and might not be answered the way we want it to answer and we just give up on praying about that person or that thing or whatever it is we're praying about so don't give up keep on praying and seeking the lord so um there's that and it says how is your bible reading do you tire after a few days of reading is this diligently seeking him uh, no uh, what hinders us from diligently seeking the lord what benefits do we lose from not seeking him in the manner he desires hmm. good questions to ponder so there's that uh, for everyone now we got prayer thoughts it says here in the first one ask god to help you be more diligent in your relationship with him and then ask god to strengthen your faith pray that he will give you the desire to seek him with great diligence amen and then we have the song fairest lord jesus which will be the uh, second song we sing uh, for the second hymn and i'll read you this uh quote from the next volume volume 2 week 10 the subject is contending for the faith and this quote here says for too many christians have turned a blind eye toward evil and lost in any desire to be valiant for the truth the church and the rest of the world desperately need faithful christians similar to the prophet jeremiah who contended for the faith with a heart burdened for the work so that was from volume 2 week 10 which we'll get there down the road uh, after we're done with this book uh, so that's it for uh week one or the first week of the diligence uh, topic and next week will be week 11 diligence continued and so tomorrow we'll cover all these things occurrences and first uh use in the new testament and last uses in the old testament and interesting facts bible study tip and then the passage uh, for tomorrow because it's church day and on sundays and wednesdays we read a, a fight on story or few and i think we'll do uh, three tomorrow because they're short ones so i'll give you those titles here in a few minutes now it's time to get into the hymn uh, time here and so the first hymn from the book let me this uh, here a second I need to... <clears throat> make sure there's no commercials on this one <clears throat> All right, so all right, so pause that for a minute, and I gotta give you the who the hymn writers are, and then we'll get into the hymn. So today's hymn is titled "He Is Able to Deliver Thee," and this is hymn three forty five, an invitation to salvation hymn, a spiritual song written by William A. Ogden, and he lived from eighteen forty one to eighteen ninety seven. And so there's three stanzas here, and then there's a story at the bottom. So press play and sing along with the instrumental. So here we go. Tis the grandest theme for a mortal tongue. Tis the grandest theme that the world has sung. Our God is able to deliver thee. He is able to deliver thee. He is able to deliver thee. Do and sin oppress, go to him and rest. And God is able to deliver thee. Tis the grandest theme in the earth or main. Tis the grandest theme for a mortal strain. Tis the grandest theme to the world again. Our God is able to deliver thee. He is able to deliver thee. He is able to deliver thee. Those by sin oppressed go to him for rest. Our God is able to deliver thee. 
is the grandest theme. Let the tidings roll to the guilty heart, to the sinful soul. Look to God in faith, He will make thee whole. Our God is able to deliver thee. He is able to deliver thee. He is able to deliver thee. Though by sin oppressed, go to Him for rest. Our God is able to deliver thee. Amen. All right. Last second. I hope so I'm gonna do that. All right. So that is the hymn. He is able to deliver thee. And now let me read you the story here, and then the stanz the references for each of the stanzas. So we got here the story at the bottom says, uh, William uh, Augustine Ogden was born in Ohio on October 10, but moved at the age of six when the family relocated to Indiana. As a very young man, he began demonstrating great musical abilities. At eight, he began attending singing schools in the community, and by eleven, he could transcribe a melody simply by hearing it rendered with voice or instrument. As the Civil War began, Mr. Ogden uh, enlisted in the 13th Indiana uh, Volunteer Infantry, serving in a number of notable conflicts of the war. He also organized a male choir, which became a notoriety in the Army of the Cumberland. Hmm, interesting. So that was a little story about uh, the hymn writer here. So now I'll give, me the, give you the references. So stanza 1, we have Daniel 3.17, and then stanza 2 is 2 Corinthians 5.17, and then stanza 3, we have Hebrews 7.25, and 1 Peter uh, 2.24, and then for the refrain is 1 Corinthians 10.13. All right, so that was the first hymn, and then we're going to jump backwards into the book and go back to hymn 63, which we did uh, a while back. And so we'll go back to that uh, hymn today, and this one is titled Fairest Lord Jesus. So <clears throat> this one is uh, written by... Uh, says here by uh, Munster, Munster uh, Gessenbach and translated by Anonymous and then from uh, Schultz's She Volkslider uh, 1842 and this other uh, man uh, Munster Gessenbach lived in 1677 and then adopted by Richard S. Willis, 1819 to 1900. <clears throat> so, let's see if I can get the uh, hymn here. All right. Fairest Lord Jesus, ruler of all nature, O Thou of God and man the Son, Thee will I cherish, Thee will I honor, Thou my soul's glory, joy, and crown. Fair are the meadows, fair still the woodlands, Robed in the blooming garb of spring. Jesus is fairer, Jesus is purer, Who makes the woeful heart to sing. Fair is the sunshine, Fair still the moonlight, and all the twinkling starry host. Jesus shines brighter, Jesus shines purer than all the angels heaven can boast. Amen. 
a good hymn there, a hymn 63. And this was a, a Praise Unto Christ hymn, way back uh, towards the beginning of the hymn book here. And so let me give you the references, and then we'll move on to the scripture songs again. So stanza 1, we have Psalm 45, 1 through 7, and then Hebrews 1, 1 through 8, and then John 5, 23. Stanza 2 is Matthew 6, 28, and then 2 Samuel 23, 1 through 4. And then stanza uh, 3 is Isaiah 24, 23, and Hebrews 2, 5 through 9. Amen. So that is the end of the hymns. And so put that aside there for right now. And go ahead and grab the scripture song book. And we'll do some scripture song singing again. And then wrap it up for today. So here we go. Yesterday's and then today's. So yesterday was the 14th. And James 1, 12. James 1, 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Amen. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. Which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them. That love him. Amen. All right, now today's Isaiah forty nine thirteen. Sing, sing O heavens, heavens and, and be joyful, O earth, earth and break, break forth into singing, O mountains, for the, the Lord hath comforted his people, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. Amen. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. For the Lord hath comforted his people, for the Lord hath comforted his people, and will have mercy upon his afflicted, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. For the Lord hath comforted his people, for the Lord hath comforted his people, and will have mercy upon his afflicted, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. Sing, sing, sing. Amen. All right. That was good hymn, uh, uh, scripture song singing there, and good hymns. Amen. And then the good devotionals today. So tomorrow, I will go ahead and uh, give you tomorrow's uh, scripture song for the 16th Sunday, starting a new week. And 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 5 is the scripture song passages and it says here in second corinthians 10 3 through 5 for though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of god and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of christ amen so that's tomorrow's scripture song and then tomorrow's Baptist Bread topic will be titled, uh, Working Together, and the passage is from 1 Corinthians 18.16, uh, so that will be tomorrow's uh, topic for the Baptist Bread, and then we start a new week on the Daily Strength uh, Volume 1 book here, and this will be week 11, titled Diligence Continued, so second week on diligence, and we'll all read you all the, cur the currencies, uh, how it's found, and then the first usage in the New Testament, and then the last usage in the Old Testament, and then the interesting fact 
about it. And then Bible study tip and then the passage for tomorrow, which is a church day. So no topic for tomorrow. And then read you some fight on stories. So that will be start of week 11, diligence continued. And so I'll read you three fight on stories tomorrow because they're short ones. And so the first one is titled, Always Ready to Fight. Amen. So always ready to fight. And then we got a little uh, uh, thing here on the page prior to it. Uh, the prayer of a young patriot on his way to be hanged, 1781. So uh, I believe that's who this is about. Uh, Captain Sam Whitmore. So I think that's who this uh, passage, uh, little uh, thing here on the other page is about. So all, um, always ready to fight is the first one. And then the second uh, one is another short one titled The Human Ladder. And then the third one is one that sounds interesting. And I forget what this one's about, but it sounds interesting. I, if I remember uh, correctly, it's titled Fist Fighting a Shark. <laughs> so that will be the third one for tomorrow. So three uh, stories tomorrow, Always Ready to Fight, uh, The Human Ladder, and Fist Fighting a Shark. Hmm. So, amen. So we'll find out about all th three of those, and I'm sure you're probably... Uh, looking forward to the one about uh, fist fighting a shark. Amen. So, all right. So those are from the Fight On book uh, by Samuel uh, C. Gipp, uh, Brother Gipp. And he's got two volumes of this uh, book here. So that's Fight On. Amen. And then the hymn for tomorrow will be uh, titled No Hope in Jesus. Hmm. No Hope in Jesus. And this is another invitation to salvation. And so this will be hymn 346. And so I'm not too familiar with this one. I have to see. It sounds kind of familiar, but I'm not too sure. So uh, it is written by uh, one of the writers, Ira uh, D. Sankey. So it's uh, one that he wrote along with two other uh, men here. So amen. And then there's a story for this one. And uh, No Hope in Jesus. So that's, that's tomorrow's hymn. And so if you want to get a copy of the hymn book, the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book, and then volumes 1 through 4 of the Daily Strength book, they're both available online at um, melodypublications.com, is where you can get those uh, um, books there. And then the Scripture Song book and CDs are available on the internet at www.dailyscripturesongs.com. That's Brother Dean and Sister Patty Runyon's website, Missionaries to Port Kaituma, Guyana. So pray for them, and they have their newest prayer letter up on their website, or if you have Facebook, you can look them up that way, so, amen, and that's Lighthouse Baptist Church in Port Kaituma, Guyana, and then Brother Dean Runyon, so amen, and you can also listen to the scripture songs on the internet on their website, or on their Facebook page, so amen, he usually posts those up um, every day, so check those out, amen, and uh, then the Baptist Bread devotional book, this is the one from last month and this month, but if you order now, you'll get the one from May and June, and there's a um, church building on the cover there, so uh, you order now, you get that one, and they're twelve ninety five every other month. You get a subscription going, and you can keep that as long as you want, and it comes in a box of ten, so you can keep one for yourself and pass off the others uh, to other people. Amen. So that's uh, Baptist Bread at baptistbread.com or www.timgreenministries.org. Amen. And then the Fight On book again is uh, available on the Internet, uh, Brother Samuel C. Gipp. And uh, so this says uh, this one, there's two volumes of this, and he's got other books available. Uh, a lot of them on the King James Bible and and uh, and all that, so amen. And then, of course, the Bible, the King James Bible is the Word of God. This is the book that we should always be getting into, the first um, book to be getting into and reading and studying and praying to the Lord that he would show you what he'd have you to read. And uh, amen, and to become uh, more Christ-like and be a, become a better Christian and have a closer relationship with the Lord. Amen. And a closer walk each and every day. So, hallelujah. All right. Well, that is it for today. So, thanks for watching. And may the Lord richly bless you until next time. Bye-bye for now. Remember, Jesus saves, so believe on him. Amen.